Time to host a fall get-together, coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. I have always enjoyed this time of year, and I think the fall is a perfect time for entertaining. I'm going to show you how I set up a fall table. Hopefully, I'll inspire you to do the same thing. Let's begin with a couple of things that I did in advance. First of all, I made a floral arrangement. I have a square vase half filled with cool water, not hot, not cold, right in between. And then I have an assortment of fresh blooms. If you don't have fresh blooms, use a pumpkin, use fresh fruit, use a silk arrangement if that's all you have. Something very attractive for the center of your table. I brought up some dahlias from the city. I have burgundy, white, and also this kind of purplish color. Begin then by clipping off your blooms, add them into the water, and I like doing little groupings. So two burgundy, one white, position them all together till your arrangement is nicely balanced. Remember, not too high. You want to be able to see everybody over the top of the arrangement. Once my dahlias are in, I kind of give the arrangement a spin, and then I'm adding the last element, which are these decorative grasses. Add the elements in, your arrangement is done. And remember, if you're doing a dinner party, do the flowers a couple of days in advance to make sure they're fully open for when guests arrive and sit down for dinner. I ended up not using the pink or mauve color dahlias. I've trimmed them down into smaller vases, added the grass, and now I can place them out onto side tables, coffee table, powder room, or how about if you have weekend guests, place them out onto bedside tables. Perfect little greeting when guests first arrive. They'll never want to leave. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but I'll do it anyway. Second thing I picked up are these little tiny wooden rounds. They were at a, a dollar store, very inexpensive. I'll show you what I do with them shortly. Next thing I did in advance was to assemble the take home gift. I have little burlap sacks because I also have burlap runners I'll be adding to the table in a few moments as well. Taking the burlap sack, you open it up, place in a bulb and we're using, today we're using Narcissus. You could use Hyacinth, Tula, Crocus, Add the bulb into the bag and then take a popsicle stick, write down the name of each guest, place that in there as well. Now when your guests leave the dinner party, they have a little memento, but they can also go home, stick the bulb in the garden, stick the popsicle stick in, and sure enough, in a couple of months when spring arrives, they'll have a beautiful flower to remind them of that dinner party back in the fall. I've placed the little tiny sacks down at each place setting, they're acting as uh, name cards. With those couple of things done in advance, I'm on to table cover. And for this, I'm thankful to our friend Catherine, who has a cottage on the lake. She brought this table cover over as a gift, along with napkins. I'll show you those in a moment as well. I've placed the table cover down, purple and white, toile de juillet. This is a very beautiful fabric. It started off in Ireland, went to England, and then became all the rage in Paris in the 18th century. Rural scenes, right? So pictures of people kind of frolicking about in the French countryside. Unusual that it's done with purple. I love the look of this fabric. Placing it down on the table, we then add our runners. So there's those burlap runners joining each guest and then the two heads of the table. Uh, nice kind of a foundation, kind of bringing up that rustic look that I was looking for. Onto our china service, I'm using Clarice Cliff's Tonquin, a transferware pattern. Uh, Clarice Cliff was a very famous uh, ceramicist who did a lot of hand-painted stuff, but she also made transferware for the masses. A uh, flip to show you the hallmark on the back, um, just to give you a sense of what you're looking for if you're ever going to collect. What I like about this pattern is the unusual color. You don't see this mulberry or cranberry color very often. Uh, now it sits in a cupboard, because some of my family thinks it looks like old grandma dishes, but I still like them, and I, I pull them out for special occasions like this. Uh, for this service, we have a dinner plate on the table, a bread and butter plate. I also also have these small little bowls. You can place a cranberry compote in here to go with our turkey pot pie that I'll be serving later. A nice kind of foundation for our table setting. Remember when you start to set your table, have a dishcloth, kind of damp, wipe your plates before you place them down, and then also adjust them if you have a pattern on them. Make sure that all of the uh, patterns are facing in the same direction. It's a nice finishing touch to make your table look uh, pretty spiffy. On to our cutlery. Cutlery is a mishmash. It is a collection of different pieces of silver that I collect every time I go to a garage sale. I pick up a couple of forks, some knives, 
Silver plate is really cool, but none of it matches. I think that's a great look up here at the cottage. Salad fork, dinner fork. On this side, salad knife, dinner knife, blades are turned into the plate. And then, if I was gonna set the dessert service down at the top of the place setting, the forks should follow the direction that the forks are on the table, and the spoons are the same thing. So that's just a quick tip on how to do the mise en place if you're gonna put a dessert service down on the table. I am not. Instead, I've assembled everything on the tray in advance. So once dinner is done, I'll clear the plates. All I have to do is come back into the sunroom, hand up this tray, and on it, dessert plates, cups and saucers, cream and sugar, and then our dessert forks and teaspoons. So think about that. Maybe plan in advance, have your dessert service ready to bring in. It makes this uh, the running of this dinner party go a lot smoother, that's for sure. The napkins. So napkins, again, Catherine has a great eye and she partnered this mauve polka dot with this uh, beautiful table cover. And then with the dishes, it's a little unusual. What else is on the table? I put the water glasses down. They're sitting on the little rounds of wood. Just a reminder, nothing would be worse than to sit down for dinner and then somebody's like, excuse me, can I have a glass of water? And you're like, oh, I forgot the water. I also have two types of candles. I have pillar candles. Uh, they're sitting on those little rounds of wood. Keep your eyes peeled. It's an open flame, right? Don't put them too close to the floral arrangement. And then I've had these little votive holders kicking around for eons. So they're on the table as well. There's candlelight, the flatware is down, the china, the napkins, the takeaway gift. I think the final thing though is when you place that centerpiece down, you see the whole table. It's really kind of rustic, but yet so inviting. I really love the look of this table. Oh, and these, this is a strand of Edison lights I picked up at a decor store for 20 bucks. So I thought I'll just run them above the table for tonight's dinner just to add another little kind of element of, of interest above the table. Um, what I'll do now is run a bit of music and some video and I'll show you kind of the table as it looks uh, now that we're set for dinner. that little video and music montage of our fall table. I also hope it inspires you to do the same thing. Pick up that phone, call your family and friends, and have them over to enjoy. Hopefully you'll also enjoy heading to Weekend at the Cottage. Make sure you sign up for our newsletter. Please look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel. And then finally, why not keep the conversation going on our many social media feeds. Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I know I am very thankful for everything that I have in my life. A roof over the head, food on my plate, but more importantly, my friends and family. Thank you so much for hanging out. Come on back and hang out again soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.